and welcome to Money Saving Snow Tips. This winter, aptly retitled COVID Saving Snow Tips. Uh, we're nearly three quarters of the way through 2020. For most of us, the most insane year in living memory. So congratulations, we have almost got through it. Uh, and as the weather gets, starts to get a little bit colder, people are starting to think, can I go away for a skiing or snowboard holiday? There are so many big issues fighting for our attention right now that it almost feels guilty thinking about it. But I've been umming and ahhing whether to relaunch these tips this winter and I came to the conclusion that first and foremost, this is an outdoor pursuit. The mountains are outdoors, it's healthy, there's loads of exercise. Vitamin D, the vitamin that comes with sunshine, is proven to help you fight the virus. Uh, plus, what could be better for morale and mental health right now than a snow holiday. So, how's it gonna work? I think, personally, there are possibilities to get out there. You might think it's a swift no, especially when that news came out about Crystal binning off all of their catered chalet holidays. But, this could be the greatest opportunity for us to head out to uncrowded mountains in our lifetime. So I've decided to put together a short set of COVID special episodes over the next five or six weeks that will look into each of the aspects that could make or break these holidays and hopefully help you make the right decisions about whether we can get out to the mountains. Uh, so. There's definitely not gonna be any apres ski. You're not gonna be dancing on the tables in Ishkul. That's been outlawed. But the episodes that we are gonna take a look at, first and foremost, you've got travel. Can you fly? Can you catch the train? Or is driving through the Euro tunnel the only option? Then we look at accommodation. Obviously, the big catered chalets are out, but can you go to a hotel? Or can you go to a small catered chalet within your bubble? Or is Airbnb and apartments the only option? After that, we've got uh, resorts specifically looking at resorts where you have a lot of chairlifts going up out of the middle of the resort so you don't have to go in socially distanced gondolas which are undoubtedly going to cause a bottleneck and queues or uh, walking resorts where you don't have to get on buses and squish in with loads of other people just to get around the base area um, then we've got the perfect way to dodge the crowds an episode dedicated to touring and split boarding so you can disappear off into the back country and not worry about anyone else or any kind of virus uh, then we've got insurance. This is arguably one of the most important aspects. So we're going to look at how you can get it and whether or not it will be affected by foreign office advice. Um, then we're looking at booking. Do you do it now? Do you do it later on? And we'll look at the pros and cons of both of those. Essentially, peace of mind versus cost. And then finally, uh, we'll be looking at the different companies and how they behaved last season. So the good guys like Intersport, who refunded all of the reservations and bookings, uh, due to COVID and then at the bad guys people like EasyJet who very much didn't and then that can help inform your decisions as to who you decide to go with this winter. So stay tuned every Friday for the next five or six weeks for COVID saving snow tips. I'll see you then.